We're playing Phoenix and we're way ahead, okay? When we're, we're down in the old saddle dome that they had outside. Right, right. And Larry, you know, we're playing good as a team. Larry has the worst fourth quarter known to man. I mean, he's throwing the ball to the other team. I'm like, good Lord, we had like a 15 point lead. Next thing you know, we're down two. And I'm like, oh, how in the world are we gonna lose this game? And, and Larry says, I'm gonna bust the play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot a three. And, and I'm like, <laughs> Bertie. <laughs> It's just getting overtime. I'm going to Robert. You know, Robert, we need to get into overtime, man. Right. Try to get this ship right because we're sinking, man. Right. I tell you right. So, you know, Larry not only tells me that, he walked by the bench and says, you know, typical birdie, just real slow, fixing the bus of three on your guys and go home. <laughs> and so he breaks the play. Maxwell waits. Maxwell gets it to Bird. Bird turns and shoots and. Oh, Larry hits it. He looks at the bench and goes, told you so, that was Birdie. And just, he had the confidence, man, that dude had so much confidence. He talked to the coaches, he talked, he talked to everybody. He was talking trash all the time, man. But fun, great competitor, man. So we playing him in the last, the last play. He says uh, to James Worthy, he says, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna go right over there at that corner. <laughs> he said, they're gonna set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm gonna curl right over. And he's telling us to play. He's telling us to play before they even take it out. He said, I'm going to go right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever the case may be. They take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ. the late, great DJ. Yeah. Take the ball out. The man curled right to the corner, caught the shot, <laughs> shot a three, <laughs> and game over. It. <laughs> it's like, are you effing kidding me? We had a three-point contest at the All-Star break, and Larry walks in and says, I hope all you guys in here are thinking about second place because I'm winning this. Excuse me? And he started shooting, and he just didn't miss. Larry was the originator of getting in your face and talking trash. And then you sit there and you go, I'm just going up in my face talking noise. He ain't that fast, he's slow. But he knew how to aggravate you, agitate you enough to get you out of your game. I was guarding in my rookie year. He looked at me and he goes, you can't stop me. And I looked at him and I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so confident. He goes, confident? You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. He proceeded to score like 10 straight points on me. The coach took me out the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Brad Doherty told me this story when he was uh, like second year in the, in, in the league and they were in the playoffs against the Celtics. Down one, Larry Bird catches the ball in a deep corner and he steps back for a three. And before he takes a three, he's like, oh, wow, he's, gonna, he's going for the win. He's not going for the tie. And so Brad Doherty runs out and he's, at, and he and he head fakes him, and as he head fakes him, now it's three two. He hits him on the butt with the ball, and then he shoots it at the buzzer. And the confidence <laughs> that sh hit him yeah. on the butt as he flew by him, <laughs> trying to block a shot. I'm like, there's no more confidence. I remember we were playing uh, Washington in Washington one night, and Larry just hit what would have been the game when he shot. But KC called timeout. It won't count. It does not count. Washington had called a timeout. Larry came back to the bench, and you know he was a little upset. He looks at uh, the bench and says, uh, "Hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm going to go right to the same spot. And I'm going to kick it in." He told Washington, "I'm going to get the ball." Yeah. Two seconds left. The ball looks by one. Aims to Bird. He gets a good shot in the Celtics win. Boy, this is something else. Incredible. Bird wins it at the buzzer. How many people you know would talk to the other team like this and say, I'm going to stick it in your pick? We do have video of this. It lasted about nine days, as a matter of fact. Yes, it did. This was me getting 56 there against <laughs> that's Detroit. You that's something you don't see often right there, was a, a, a skinny Quinn Buckman. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there I go getting 56, feeling pretty good about myself. And uh, it was nine days later. As a matter of fact, towards the end of the game, Larry came up to me and said, um, I said, I'm going to come out. It was mid and a half or two minutes ago in the game. Larry said, are well, you crazy? I said, I'm had enough, man. We're, we're ahead. And he goes, if I get that hot, I'm not stopping. Well, nine days later, <laughs> he got that hot. I said, you stop. And he said, no. Uh -uh. At the end of one of the trips, he had accomplished every goal. We hadn't lost a game on the trip. And Larry told all of us players and the media, too, we were all standing around waiting to leave. He said, tomorrow night's the last game of the trip. I'm going to play this one left-handed at least, at least through three quarters. And at the end of three quarters, the next night in Portland against poor Jerome Kersey, he had 27 points left handed. And it was a remarkable performance. Oh man, Larry was so confident, 
so extremely confident. Larry said, you guys want to win the game? Everybody said, sure. Yeah, absolutely. He goes, give me the ball and get out of the way. <laughs> they say, hey, Sean, uh, you starting the night against uh, Larry. And I was like, what the hell? I'm all for it, though, you know? So um, the X-Men, he didn't play, he had a sore knee. But my point to you is this. Uh, Larry gave me, he gave me, uh, he gave me 50 and three quarters. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, <laughs> he, he, was, he was hitting everything. Man, and he talked to me the whole entire game. He what did he say? Me, do. Well, first of all, he asked me to jump ball. He said, you the cat that broke all my records in high school, right? And I was like, yeah, that's me. He goes, yeah, you the one that used to jump <laughs> my brother too, right? Now, Eddie. And I was like, yeah, that's me. Oh. He said, I got you for you tonight. So every shot he was calling, at the defensive end, he would tell me, he'd be like, when I get down to the other end, I'm a pump face you, get a uh -huh. hand one on you, look at you, <laughs> pull off the flags. That's how cold Larry Bird yeah. was. Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner, I take off running out at Larry Bird, and right when he's getting ready to shoot, I jump. And as I go by, <laughs> I go by him, he tells me, he says, fly, Bird. And, he, and I go right by him, he shoots the ball, it's nothing but nylon. I got a pull hamstring, so I'm not playing tonight. He walks down to me. Man, I'm sorry you're not playing, but I, he said, I'm gonna tell you what, since you're here, I'm gonna put a show on for you. So you just sit back and watch, okay? And I'm like, man, get out of my face, man. I wanna hear that. You know, that's Celtics and the Lakers. Every time he hit one, he look at me. I, I remember the time when Larry got on the roll, started shooting the ball, just, every shot was going in. Goodbye, she's gone. I guess the two-pointer was too close. When he runs by the bench, he goes, that's a heat check. Just see how hot I am. All right, he runs by Frank Layden, who's the funniest guy in, in the league. And Frank is coaching, and Larry says to him, hey, Frank, don't you have anybody on that bench that can guard me? He goes, so nobody out here can. Frank looked down at the bench and goes, no. <laughs> he was a basketball genius. He'd be a step ahead, uh, a thought ahead. Uh, play the game like a chess game. I'd much rather guard Michael Jordan than Larry Bird because you have to play the game as a thinker when you're playing him. You have to get inside his mind. Larry wasn't quick, couldn't jump really high, but there was just some sleepless nights. Bird takes the pop. It's gone. He made a bet with the trainer of the New York Knicks, and uh, before the game, we were out shooting three. Larry and I were shooting threes before the game, and Larry, he said, hey, I'll bet you 20 bucks you can't bank one in like that in the game. And Larry goes, you're on. And so the game proceeds, and we're behind by, or we get ahead by about 20 points the fourth quarter. Our bench comes in the game, and all of a sudden, you know, the Knicks are starting to creep back in the game, but it still feels like we have the game under control. And the trainer for the Knicks looks down at me and, you know, says, like, get, hey, get Larry his attention. He sends him the sign, like, you owe me 20 bucks. You never banked in a three-pointer. And Larry goes, crap, I can't believe I forgot that, you know. And he was, and so, sure enough, the game gets down to seven points, I think it was. And Casey Jones puts the starters back in the game. And within the first two or three possessions, Larry gets a shot on the corner and banks in a three-pointer. <laughs> at, at that stage of the game, I mean, with a close game, I could see it with a 20-point lead, but, I mean, I'll never – I mean, I got so many of the confidence stories like that, but that's just he, – he cared more about that 20-buck bet than he oh, did. Oh, yeah. Game. He was so cheap. I, <laughs> I could just imagine I didn't want to owe him $20. Or he'd say, Danny, give me the ball, or DJ, give me the ball. I got this guy in the torture chamber down here. Why the guy was standing right there listening to him say it. The ball went to Larry, and Isaiah was all out of, out of whack. He had the ball at three-point range. He goes, hey, 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 who's guarding me? Everybody looked around. He just stood there, held the ball, and Isaiah said, ah, oh, he ran out there and just shot it three-pointer. Too late. They called the time out. He said, you know I'm going to get it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. And then the time out, I'm going for a play, and... I tried right, this one, we're gonna run. All right, uh, then she got the ball, you go over here and uh, you know, pass to Kevin, then you go to the corner. Then why would you come over? Then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? Now, after the timeout, we, we walked back on the court. Larry's going down to his position. So 
So he tells me, baby, is I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. Ten seconds. Five, and Bird has the basketball. Look out. Two seconds on the clock. And, you know, he was like, I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock. I walked back to the sideline like, damn. Larry Bird just phenomenal the way that he will contribute to in the clutch time, time. Do you remember? Well, you had the bird night. I had the bird Northern night. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was a tough night, man. Best, you know, best. the biggest argument that night is, uh, well, you only scored six on me. Yeah. You know? But did, you, nobody was guarding bird, were they? Well, we were trying. You were trying no, to. Yeah, but when, when a guy is literally coming up to court calling his shots, uh, and, you know, Bird talked a lot of trash. Uh, um, and that's in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans. And that game, we're on the free throw line. And he's like, he literally says, um, left side <laughs> over uh, across the three. And you're listening to him. That's that's a tough filler. But, okay, so you guys got Antoine Carr and Cliff Levingston got fined by Fratello, I think. For, and, and Eddie Johnson for celebrating. Celebrating Bird. Yeah, it was the best film session. Every time I see, when I see Mike, we still laugh. God, it's it was so a, good. it was the greatest film session ever because that, back then you didn't have you know you watched the real game and just went you know with a video and Mike rewound the celebration twenty times. He just kept re- not the shot. He just kept rewinding it, showing the guys. You remember they were giving each other high five. And then and then somebody falls off the bench. Yeah, that was Eddie Johnson. Yeah, that was Eddie Johnson. Yeah, yeah, Johnson. Yeah. Eddie Johnson falls off the bench in laughter. Uh, and Antoine Carr and Cliff gives each other high five, and our film session was 20 <laughs> minutes of that. So it, it was. It wasn't it, somebody not playing good defense no, on Bird. It was you it was, guys it celebrating just, Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. It just kept rewinding. Oh <laughs> and it, it, it was. Uh, I think Bird uh, went by the bench one time too. He fell in a bench. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, <laughs> and he called that one. That was the one where he fell in it. He literally said, oh, no. uh, "Off the glass into the trainer." And, <laughs> no uh, way. Yeah, and so um, it was a bad night. But you know, he he always talked trash. I remember he he just he talked trash uh, against us, talked trash with every uh, against everyone else. But you know, the, the the difference is he could back it up. He could back it up. You know, I remember, you know, like I was saying, uh, growing up in Boston, people all used to always talking about that he can't jump, he can't do this, he can't do that. And, you know, a lot of my friends was like that, you know. So, I, you know, I got to the league. I called all my friends back up. I said, you know, all that trash that you were talking, you need to squash all that. This, this man is great. He can, he can, whatever you were saying for a man who can't jump, he he'll demo, he can demo, he's, he's demolishing everybody. So your your guys are saying, how can you let this guy? Oh, punk- <laughs> he, he, he's doing it on everybody. <laughs> he's doing it on everybody. He's doing it on the best defensive players in the league.